Subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon to get notified for the latest tech videos. Hey what's up YouTube this is Wase here and today in this video I'm going to show you how you can set up your TP-Link Wi-Fi extender device. So the model number of this is TLWA850RE but the process is going to be same for most of the devices. So let's begin the video. So in order to configure your TP-Link Wi-Fi extender device you're going to need three things. First of all your TP-Link extender, you're going to need your smartphone either Android or iOS and the last thing is that you need to make sure that for the first time when we're going to set up this device make sure that this device is uh, close to your main Wi-Fi router for which you want to extend the signals and make sure that there isn't any kind of radio interference between the router and the TP-Link device when we're going to set it up. Once set it up then you can move it to any further location where Wi-Fi extension is needed. So here I have my plug I'm going to connect it in. Uh, so we have 220 volts input for uh, first time we're going to wait because the power light is going to blink. We have to wait until the power light becomes solid. Now you can see that the power and the wireless light have become solid. So there are different ways to connect it. You can configure this by going to the IP address provided which is a little complex. The more flexible way is using the TP-Link app. So here is the TP-Link app QR code. The app name is Tether. So you can scan the QR code right here or I will put the download link for this app both for iOS and Android in the video description as well. So I'm using an iOS device. The process will be same for Android users as well. Here you can see you're going to have this app TP-Link Tether. So what we're going to do is then make sure that our TP-Link device is on and we're going to open the TP-Link Tether app. Okay, you need to accept the privacy terms and use. We're going to press on continue. So for the first time, what you need to do is to make a account for TP-Link. So when you're going to do this, you need to connect to your home Wi-Fi network and not to the extender because we're going to need Wi-Fi. So I'm just going to make my account right away. So once you enter your email and password for the sign up, you can see they're going to say that they have sent an email and here is my email as well. You need to open your email and it will say click to finish registration. Just press on this button and your TP-Link account will be created. As you can see, TP-Link Tether app again. And now I'm going to log in using the ID and password that I just created. Okay, Tether would like to send you notifications. If you want to, you can do so. I'm not going to allow that right now, not now. So you can see it says no device is found. If it is happening that your uh, Android or iOS device is not able to detect your TP-Link device, then it's pretty simple. Go back and open the Wi-Fi settings of your smartphone. Here we're going to go to Wi-Fi. And here you can see it's going to show you TP-Link extender. Just press on it and connect to it once connected close and go back to your tp-link tether app and it should detect it now so you can see it is showing uh, unknown device range extender we're going to press on it you can see tp-link device may not support tether to configure and manage this device you need to access this so we're going to press on view web page Okay, from here you need to create a new password for the web page. So let me just create one. This is the password, not your TP-Link one, but for this web page only. So you can have the same password if you want to. So let me just type it. Okay, once done, you can see. So select your host network, Jazz, PTCL, Technospark, etc. So these are the different Wi-Fi networks available. So you need to select one network from which you want your TP-Link Wi-Fi extender to extend your Wi-Fi signals. Meaning that I have two routers in my home named Jazz and PTCL BB. The other two routers aren't mine. But anyways, you can see it is showing the signal strength and you can see they are locked. So you need to select that Wi-Fi network from here for which you want to extend the Wi-Fi signals. For now, I'm going to select the Jazz one I'm going to collect, uh, click on it and now from now I need to enter the Wi-Fi password for my Jazz Wi-Fi network uh, so for which I want to extend the Wi-Fi signals. So let me just type my Wi-Fi password for my home network router. Okay, once typed in the password, I'm going to press on next. You can see it says 2.4 gigahertz host network. Its name is this and its password is this. I'm going to press on confirm. 
so now it's going to say set the extended name so now you need to set the name of what you're going to call the wi-fi network of this device the tp-link wi-fi extended device so meaning the extended wi-fi signal that will come from it what name you want to give it so you can give it any name i'm just going to give it uh, tp-link extender and in the lower side you can see the password as same so it says same as your host network so the password will remain same as you had for your same wi-fi we're going to press on next and now it's going to apply the settings relocate your extender to optim uh, optimize wi-fi coverage and now you can see that we have uh, lights on the tp-link extender as well we got power wireless re and we got three signals lights on the range extender meaning that we, this is the network strength so we're going to press on done on the app now connect to the extended network then click finish again the name is tp-link extender and here is the password we're going to go back open settings again on wi-fi and here it's going to show you the tp-link extender wi-fi network as well i'm going to press on it and connect it using the password after entering the password i'm going to press on join again the password for your tp-link extender will be the same that you set it for your main home router for which you are extending the signals okay it has been connected i'm going to open the tether app again and you can see we have done I have connected to the extender network and I am going to press on finish. Okay, once the setup is completed, you can see on my devices, it's going to show the range extender as well. So here if I go to Wi-Fi settings, you can see TP-Link's extender is connected. And here if I go and open uh, speed test, you can see and get an idea of the speed test as well. So currently how well the uh, router is performing. So we're getting around 6.2 to six i would say megabits per second of speed which is not bad uh, seeing that my house network has 15 megabits per second of internet connection so yeah so it means that the wi-fi extender is working perfectly all right and we have successfully set it up our tp-link wi-fi extender and if i zoom in you can see that here on the extender we only got three signals so not very strong signals because it is pretty far away from the router anyways guys if you like this video on how to set up your tp-link wi-fi extender like share subscribe if you have any questions write them in the comment section below other than that thank you for watching and stay safe